I use this source uh, to actually put in my data. So I'd have to go back to my folio at this point and get the specifics, but um, you know, this was supported by a survey conducted amongst, I don't know, I'm making this up, 150 students um, who highlighted that. And then again, maybe a quote and maybe some statistics um, and, you know, overall that depression is a major um, symptom of um, you know, stressful, whatever it is. Again, I'd be finishing that at the end with a reference. So what we can see here is that I now have a key idea that I pulled from my dot point draft. I have my first source that supports this and I have a second source that supports this. Now in my dot point draft, I've only covered one dot point. I now need to repeat this process for the rest of my dot points. Now you might find that sometimes you can say um, more than one thing together, that's fine, but we should be having statement, evidence, supporting evidence over and over and over. So if I was to continue this, I would say uh, in the biopsychosocial model, the, um, there is an understanding that uh, biological effects can also impact depression. Okay. Now, I then need the sources that are going to talk to me about this biopsychosocial model. So I would go off again into my summary table, into my folio, if I don't have a source, I go and get it. And we now put in, uh, you know, as, I don't know, I'm just making this up now, as beyond blue state. And then quote, um, reference for a website. We're gonna do the website name, year of access. Um, and you need to reference every time you get information from somewhere. So if I then went onto the Lifeline website for a different uh, piece of evidence, I reference it, even if I'm not quoting it. As I work through this process, I need to be actually referencing as I go. Just using short title references for the minute is fine. We will spend more time tidying up our references later but you need to be able to identify it. So if you have all your sources numbered, you might actually, um, quote, quote, you might actually just say source five for the minute. That would be totally fine, just as a way of keeping track of where you're up to. One of the things that you need to do as you're working through this is start to think about if you've got 1,500 words or 2,000 words, depending on whether you're an RPA or an RPB student, you need to be thinking, how many words do I need to write for each piece? So this focus question one uh, out of four is really, really important. Is it something that I want to spend a long time on? Because they're not all equal. So you might be saying, you know, defining depression, I want 150 words. And then focus question two, you might be like, well, that one's actually a bit more important. So I want 350 on that one. Focus question three is not that important. So I'm going about 200 words. And focus question four, well, that's the huge one. That's the one I want to mainly focus on. So maybe that's going to be uh, 500 or you know, 600 words. Then, of course, we need to leave words for our intro and our conclusion. And that's really important. Okay. So as you start to work through your first paragraph, you'll start to get familiar and you'll start to understand your structure. So to recap this week, we are, first of all, going through our uh, activities in our checklist from last term. If you haven't done them, you need to do them now. Working on getting a dot point draft together and then actually writing using your resources.